Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to another video. Today we're building a tree house in Bloxburg. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. I made a goal for myself to upload at least three videos this summer and um yeah we did not achieve that i apologize a lot has been going on this summer for me i've been traveling a lot but i'm so happy to finally be back i actually started on this build in early august and as soon as i finished building i had to leave on vacation for two weeks and i'm someone who likes to edit right away i never leave footage hanging around in my folders so this was really challenging for me because i had just built this beautiful masterpiece and the next thing i want to do is turn it into a video but sadly there was nothing i could do don't worry i had a good vacation i was not crying over this here we are finally i'm gonna be honest with you guys sometimes i'm so desperate for video ideas that i just ask whoever so i asked my friend who doesn't even play roblox what should I build in Roblox? Because as a Bloxburg builder, I'm always constantly thinking about trends and what other people are doing. But by asking someone else, you kind of don't know what to expect. So my friend told me to build a Minecraft inspired cherry blossom tree house. First of all, the idea of a tree house scared me a little. And second, I don't think I've seen a cherry blossom in Bloxburg. Um, so in my mind, immediately I was like, impossible, absolutely not. I only had the capacity to build very simple things. So I took her idea and simplified it to just a tree house. From the last time I posted a video to today, I did attempt to film some videos. One of them was actually a slime making video, super random, but I forgot that I had four liters of Elmer's glue in my closet from like 2020 and I only used very little of it and I wanted to make a mega slime with all of the glue that I had left over. So I actually invited my best friend to my house for slime making. Yeah, I filmed a video. It turned out horrible because I filmed on my phone and the quality was all pixelated. It was just so bad. So I didn't even end up editing a lot of that video at all. And also it's it's just such a random video, guys. Take a look at my channel. It would definitely, it just, no, it doesn't belong. I even went to the store and bought shaving cream to make fluffy slime. I was dedicated. I really thought this video would turn out good, but man, no, it did not. <laughs> I will say this is the most realistic I've ever gotten in any of my builds and I'm really happy with how it turned out. A lot of elements to this build kind of look realistic but at the same time I stuck to using Bloxburg items so it's not super realistic but you know you got some realism. I don't think I'll ever get to the point where I'm custom building everything and using realistic decals for plants. People who can do that are actually unreal. I don't know how you can have that much patience and money by the way i will say though realistic builds totally pay off they're so pretty to look at but anyways what i'm trying to say is that i don't think my builds will ever get that realistic but i do like incorporating smaller things to my build such as plants i love just having a few realistic plants because they actually look good let's take a moment to talk about the blocksburg update i personally haven't explored the update to its entirety myself but I've heard things about it and something that stands out to me the most is how they are bringing back job pay to how it should be. I don't know what they were thinking in the beginning to lower it. That's just obviously you're going to lose players. I personally haven't worked in a long time in Bloxburg. Usually if I want money, I'll just go back and delete one of my plots. I know that sounds really bad, but I'm not about to spend an hour of my life uh, pressing WASD keys. Voice chat in Bloxburg. Honestly, I think it would be fun for people to role play, especially with strangers. That would be so interesting. I'm honestly just playing this game to build I'm a builder, not a role player. I think these updates are cool, but they don't really apply to me in my gameplay experience. I don't know, you guys let me know what you think of it. So you guys know if you have the premium game pass, you can select which plot selection you want to load into. Well, for the longest time, I've been playing Bloxburg for three plus years and never bought the premium game pass. I don't know why, I could've, but I never did. And there is this one specific area in Bloxy Acres where you can get the best lighting and I love filming like build tours there because it just looks the best so whenever I want to film like a build tour I would just have to rejoin Bloxburg as many times as it takes me until I load into that specific area and today when I wanted to film the tour I was rejoining too many times today and I was like hold on if I had premium I could just load into any plot that I want so today I made the very wise decision 
decision to buy this game pass and it is a life changer. I don't know why I didn't do this earlier. And because I don't gatekeep, my personal favorite area to load into is the top left plot in Bloxy Acres. And in a neighborhood, I always set the time to 7 a.m. And that's just where you get the best sun rays and glow to your build. It's yeah, it's beautiful. That's a little secret of mine. That's kind of strange, but yeah. It actually makes me so sad to think that summer is coming to an end. If I see anything related to travel, I get so depressed. Just last month, I came back from a trip. And if you didn't know, I love traveling abroad. It's just so exciting. I love that feeling when you wake up when you're on vacation and there's something new to do and explore. The adventure is what I miss the most. It just makes life so much more interesting and fun. Whereas when I wake up here, I'm, I feel so useless. <laughs> and I just feel bored, like I want to go somewhere. Right now, my goal in life is to make money and travel. Something I do want to do at least once is to leave the country when it's winter here, but summer somewhere else. Like it would be so fun to be in 30 degree weather in another country when it's snowing in my country. It would just be so different. And honestly, I would love to live in a country where it's summer all year round. I just feel way more productive when there's sun. In the winter here, the sun literally goes down at like 5 p.m. and it is pitch black. It's kind of sad because you feel so unproductive from 5 p.m. to for the rest of the night because it's pitch black and bro, you can't do anything in the dark. So I'm really gonna miss summer, especially because now the sun is setting around 8 p.m. But I hope you guys had a great summer, whatever that looked like for you. I love how we're ending the summer off with a treehouse build. I feel like it's just so fitting for the season. And as we're transitioning more into fall, stay tuned for fall builds. I don't even know what that's going to look like yet, but I'm sure there will be some very cozy type builds. Ooh, just thinking about it makes me excited. So stay tuned for that. But now let's get into the tour. I don't think I've ever been this excited to tour one of my builds. I I'm so proud of how this turned out. This house value is $211,000. I think that's a pretty decent price range. So here's how it is looking. I tried to set a scene in the forest of some type. I don't even know where to start. The structure is so unique and different from my previous builds. And I like how it has a modern twist to it, which makes it so nice to look at. So down here, I tried to create a tree trunk. Quite interesting because where did the other half go? I don't know. This door down here it doesn't go anywhere. It's just there for the mysterious effect. You know, that fairy tale plot. Here we got our custom built roof. I'm so proud of it. Never have I ever built a custom roof. And here we are. So here we have a set of spiral stairs that takes us up to the treehouse. And here we just have a little balcony going on. We can go all the way to the back, get all the nice views, and a little seating area too, which is so cute. As we enter, here is how it is looking. First off, we have our bed area. Very cozy. It looks even better at nighttime with all these lights, which I will show you guys in a bit. Here's our little nightstand. We have a pumpkin spice latte already. We're already making ourselves at home. In this corner here, we have a little reading space with some pillows. And guys, I added a realistic plant here. I'm obsessed. It just goes so well with the build. Then we have our mini fridge and a little tea making station with a kettle and some honey. Super cute. Then along this wall, also very very cute. I can't even stop looking at this. We have our dresser and a little shelf area. We have some books here. Very bougie snacks. We got another realistic plan. I went butterfly catching specifically for this butterfly for this build and look how perfect it is. I am in love and I think I could cry right now. Here we have a ladder that goes up to some storage space. Not too much going on over here. It's just a few boxes. And then heading back down here, we just have another little seating area where you can look out at the view. And here is how it looks at nighttime. It is a completely different vibe. It's just super cozy. Like I would definitely fall asleep in like five seconds if I lived here. <laughs> Anyways, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet to become an elite. And I'll see you in the next one.